Hello, Hacienda La Puente. This is Ricardo, one of your tech tosses. And today, uh, I'm going to show you how you can use quizzes embedded inside of Canvas. So some of us might have gotten really, really excited because we saw that when we go to a quizzes and we decide to use the start a live quiz, uh, you might have noticed that now you have an instructor case option similar to Kahoot, but I'm just going to go classic. Some people got really excited because when they continue and they set up their settings for quizzes, they noticed that if they go to share via, they had a place for Canvas, okay? And when you click on it though, unfortunately, it doesn't really work. It doesn't take you to the Hacienda La Puente specific Canvas accounts, but don't worry about it, okay? There is a way to make this work. So I want you to see, this is my Canvas. And I want you to see that I have a Canvas quizzes copy um, assignment that I created. And I'm going to have a student and I'm going to pretend my student is Mark. And I'm, he's going to start the game. Notice that the game starts. I assign this as homework. The student can choose to sign in with Google, but they do not have to, okay? They can skip. And I'm going to start the game. So my student can come in here and read the questions. Most likely teachers will use the to enter grades, speed grader. Okay, let's do one more question. Who can use Canvas? I think it's all of us. Okay. I'm going to pause the game. I'm going to save and exit. So what we love about quizzes is that when we use it, and I'm just going to show you, as a teacher, when I go to reports, okay, and I was doing the, the quizzes one right now, it's right here. When I go to reports, I can see that student that took the quiz, I can actually go and look at a report which, with which questions they got correct, which ones they got wrong, uh, a final score that I can use as a grade because it does great quizzes for them. Um, if I have to go back and reteach something based on my uh, data over here, I can do that. So quizzes is a great tool, okay? But how do we make it work inside of Canvas instead of having just a link that takes the kids outside? So I'm going to show you how to do this, okay? I'm going to set up an assignment, a brand new assignment, and I'm going to call it, let's just do, um, <laughs> let's do a, uh, Disney princesses okay my daughter loves Disney princesses so we're gonna put that there okay uh, we want to make sure that we give it the same amount of points that the quiz over here is going to have so let's go ahead and look for a quiz in here for Disney princesses okay so let's look for one okay so I'm just going to pick the first one over here that has, um, I think, let's see how many, 18 questions. I want something simple, 10 questions. Let's pick this one right here. So it's 10 questions, so it's 10 points. So I'm going to uh, assign 10 points to this, okay? If I have group of assignments, I want to put it in the correct one, right? Because it is going to create a place in SpeedGrader to add the points, okay? It's not going to bring them directly, but you can manually enter the grades on SpeedGrader and now you can push it into Aries, okay? We are going to do submission type, no submission, because it's just going to create that row and we're gonna bring those grades manually, okay? So I can give it a due date, and let's make it due tomorrow, okay? Okay, and if I wanted to make it disappear for no late assignments, I could do that too, okay? So I have set up my assignment, but I don't have anything in here yet. It's a blank assignment, okay? So what you want to do, okay? This is the quiz that I wanna use. I'm back in quizzes. I have an option to do a live quiz. If you do a live quiz, this will be for synchronous work, and you will have to actually let the kids in and start the game, okay? So you could do it this way, okay? But I'm going to assign it as homework so the kids can do it on their own, okay? I'm going to assign as homework, okay? I can give it a due date. I can match it to whatever due date I gave it before. So let me just do that, right? Do, to, do um, the fourth in this case instead of two. I should have done it tomorrow, Thursday. So leave it to th there. I can change some of the settings in here if I want to, but I'm not going to change anything and I'm going to continue, okay? It creates a link that is pretty standard and also it gives them the code for the quiz. This is what tells the, um, the students where to go and it knows which quiz to give them. But notice up here, I have a link. So I'm going to click there 
I copy the link, okay? And now, using something called iframe generator, okay, that I'm going to provide in our YouTube uh, info on the, on the bottom of the video, okay? I'm going to give you this link. You can come in here and just throw that info in here, okay? And generate, and now generate HTML code, an iframe that is going to work for you to be able to use it inside of Canvas. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go to my assignment. And remember, I can't just throw it in here because this is not HTML language. So you want to go to the right. And remember, if you've done those emoji pages and so on and so on, you want to switch to HTML editor and you want to throw your code in here. It's there. Okay. So now everything is set. I'm going to save and publish. So my assignment is created and look at this, okay? It's inside of Canvas, my Disney princesses. So now what I wanna do is I wanna make sure my students see this assignment. So I'm going to go to my modules and I wanna add it to my module for the day. So let me go plus uh, an assignment that I already created, right? I called it Disney princesses, it's right here. Let me add it. And now let me just move it to the top. Just so it's gonna be easy when we go to student view. So it's right there, okay? So now let's go back home. Let's go to student view. My student can go to my module for the day or the unit and notice that the assignment is right there. So my student can come in here and the quizzes is right there. So the student's name is uh, Mary, okay? And she can start the assignment, okay? She starts the game. She can go through all the questions and I actually have my daughter doing this. <sighs> Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna guess uh, some of these answers really quick. Okay, let me do one more. Oh, not doing that bad. So I'm gonna save and exit. Okay. So I did three questions, okay? My student would have finished the whole quizzes and notice what happens. As a teacher, I can go to reports. Here's my Disney princess. I can click in there. It will give me all of the reports of what kids did, the accuracy, how many questions, how many player attempts. But I can go to Mary and now I can see her final score and I can go ahead and take that final score. And I'm sure Mary was gonna get a 10 out of 10, okay? Uh, let's go to the teacher view. I can go to grades now, and then Mary was going to get a 10 out of 10. I can go to speed grader, and now on my Disney Princess score, that student would have gotten a 10 out of 10. So this is just a quick introduction on how to use quizzes embedded inside of Canvas. If you have any questions, please contact any of you. Tech Tosas, have a great day.